the college life is just absolutely fantastic. You know, everybody's everybody intermingles. You know, we go out and we enjoy ourselves. It really, is pleasant to work in. The atmosphere of college I found is so different from the atmosphere at school. It's a lot more exciting, enjoyable. Um, everybody's friendly, and it's just you know really nice. I'm really glad I came, and I'm very impressed with the facilities at Merton College. At Merton College, I found the lectures are very helpful towards you and the courses is very exciting, always got a lot to learn about. Many students trained at Merton College hold responsible and rewarding positions in catering, engineering and in business. Others are studying in universities and polytechnics, having passed their A-levels at Merton College. The departments at Merton College are well placed to advise you and are always pleased to see you. Merton has over the years led the way in devising new courses in vocational areas where no educational provision existed before. You will see many examples of this work in the following slides. The work of Merton College is mainly vocational. That is, it prepares students directly for a job by providing the background knowledge and skills which are needed in a wide range of occupations. The wide range of courses at Merton College attract students from all kinds of backgrounds. Whatever the subject or course you want to study, there is likely to be a place for you with us. For example, our School of Engineering not only offers the usual range of engineering subjects, but has succeeded in setting up courses that are unique to Merton College. There are all the electronics, uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, robotics, computing and all the rest of the courses that you would expect to find in a modern up-to-date college. I started off to do sitting gills at electronic servicing because it was a, it's basic stuff about electronics. Then most probably get onto a higher course called B-Tech Diploma and then if I pass that course I'll most probably be self-employed or get a job for a company like BBC. I heard about Merton College through my brother who was doing a business study course two years ago and he enjoyed it very much. It's a basic course starting doing computer programming. A lot of people get put off by computer programming thinking it's hard but it isn't. It's great. Um, I'm enjoying it and I hope to do further study like an HND after this course. I couldn't make up my mind. What? engineering course to do. There's such a wide range of courses and mechanical engineering is one of the main courses. The facilities here are really good and we do a lot of workshop work and we do a lot of lathe work and also classroom work as well. Another special feature about Merton is the rather large number of rather unusual uh, courses that are run within the School of Engineering. Uh, one of the ones I must mention is motorcycle engineering where in fact we offer one of the more unique courses, in fact to the best of my knowledge it's the only full-time course in the United Kingdom uh, which leads and trains motorcycle mechanics. Um, I'm on the motorcycle engineering course. I first heard about it at the bike show in London last year. Uh, it's the only college that does this particular course, it's a B.Tech course, which is slightly higher than the City and Guilds course, it goes into more depth on the engineering side. We cover a large variety of technology on the course. We look at motorcycle design, we do lots of practical work in the workshops on a variety of different bicycles. I did wonder when I applied for the course what Merton College would feel about girls being interested in this particular subject. In fact they were very keen and really enthusiastic about girls coming and over the past years girls have proved that they've done just as well as boys on this particular course. Another course uh, which again is unique is the course which leads uh, to a qualification in musical instrument technology. Basically this is musical instrument repair and as I say is an, again a unique course um, within the United Kingdom. The staff of the School of Engineering are always ready to help you and advise you on the best way to join any of the very many engineering subjects we offer. Entry qualifications vary considerably, but the staff at Merton College
have been able to help many students achieve their ambitions. One of the advantages of engineering is that the student can in fact uh, start in at one subject, but it's very easy to change from one subject to another. Now in all these courses, the entry qualifications vary considerably, and I think the important thing is that no matter what, a, what qualifications an individual has, clearly the best thing would be to contact us as soon as possible so that we can advise both on the career opportunities that various courses uh, would give and also for what courses they are actually qualified to enter. As well as engineering, Merton College has one of the most modern and up-to-date hotel and catering departments in London. The newly built teaching block provides brand new training facilities for a very wide range of courses. We have been in our operation since 1971, setting very high standards for our students. The catering industry is the largest one in this country at the present moment. It is employing two million people and more, and it's expanding all the time, and very much it's a catering leisure and tourism industry which means that there are going to be lots of opportunities for students and hopefully next year we'll be going out to the industry and working in hotels not only receptionists but housemaiding as well hotel reception is not a career which many boys would think of doing but i find that there's many career opportunities in this field my careers officer recommended that i do a hotel reception course including housekeeping at merton college um, I've certainly got no regrets doing it because I really am enjoying it. I find everything that we do interesting. I thought that just a receptionist job would be answering the phone and generally dealing with the public. But I found that also there's a lot to do in paperwork, which is bookkeeping, accounts, tabulation, which I haven't done any of before. But I'm finding it very interesting and enjoyable to do. We do mainly city and girls courses, which includes a general catering course which has kitchen work, as you would expect from catering, and food and beverage service. Other courses that we do are in the range of supervisory standard, where we do what we know as a BTEC diploma course. And this is producing students to work as junior supervisors throughout the catering trade, whether it be hospitals, hotels, or industrial catering. I'm on a BTEC diploma course which enables me to go out into a position hopefully of a supervisor later on. I'm finding the course very interesting. I would recommend it to anyone who is interested in any side of the catering industry. We have a luncheon service where we have white tablecloths. When we do dinner in the evening we change the whole equipment and you will notice a pink tablecloth with different china and this gives a uh, different service to the customers that come to the college for dinner in the evening. Away from the catering and the kitchen work is what we call accommodation operations. And accommodation operations is really to do with the housekeeping and cleaning side of the industry, which is a major part of a hotel or other caterers work. We have a part-time course where students come uh, to do cleaning science uh, one day a week for two years and they are mature people and they come from hospitals and contract cleaning jobs. The Department of Hotel and Catering Operations is staffed by professionals who have very close links with the hotel and catering industry and their experience has proved invaluable when it comes to advising students taking a course at Merton College. The department's successful courses are complemented by a course in fashion design which trains students in machining, pattern cutting, dressmaking and design. The business studies and management department at Merton College are actively introducing into their courses new ideas and practices current in the modern business world. In order to give students the most up-to-date training in information technology and information processing. One of the benefits of coming to a business studies department is that 
we are geared to prepare people to go into commerce and to go into industry directly that they finish their course. For this reason, it's been necessary for us to provide environments which would be familiar to people uh, when they eventually get a job. So to this end, we have a model office, and in that model office, we, are, uh, we have some business machines, the sort of modern information technology which will be found in modern offices. We run secretarial courses, which last for one year, which consist of a number of skills, including typing, word processing, and shorthand. The course I'm doing is the intensive secretarial course. It's a one-year course. Since coming on this course in September, I've learned a lot of things that I didn't think would be on this course. So we have a computer lesson. Even though girls may be a little bit frightened by computers and machines like that, it's not at all frightening. And it's quite interesting to learn. We also run for school leavers some business-based courses and next year these courses will be based around the certificate in pre-vocational education. These one-year courses will give youngsters an understanding of what is involved in business and will enable them either to get a job in business or to go on for further education in the business field. We also run BTEC National Diploma courses which are two-year courses for youngsters with 4GC O-levels and these two-year courses um, include a number of business-related topics including business government, law, word processing, information processing and other subjects which will enable a student to get a good grasp and background of business. We have, in addition, for mature people um, an access course which prepares them for a degree in law or business studies in the world of universities and polytechnics. At Merton College we offer a very interesting course called the BTEC National Diploma in Computer Studies and Information Technology. This two-year course is designed for those who want to make a career in computers. That's not necessarily in the manufacturing of computers, but that's to understand how computers are used and how they work. In, in this two-year program, uh, students will learn various computer languages, including BASIC and COBOL, and at the end of the two years, they would have a qualification, if they do well enough, which will enable them to gain entry to a polytechnic or university to take their computer studies further. Business and management training is fundamental to many aspects of work today. One course which has proved particularly successful is concerned with the organization and management of small businesses. We have a specialist unit which deals with management and supervisory training. The sort of training that is involved here are any management development programs, supervisory development programs, and we also specialize in certain areas. Here, a group of staff are, are concerned with offering services to outside industry, either to add to an existing training scheme which the firm may have internally, or to provide one which doesn't exist. To complete the range of opportunities available at Merton College, the Department of General Education and Science provides a range of courses which lead to various qualifications and provides many opportunities for further study. These include courses such as GCE, O and A level, NNEB certificate for nursery nurses, the new path courses for students with special needs and access courses for mature students. We run the GCE advanced level courses and we've got a two year full time course and the one year course for mature students or people raising their grades. The other thing we try to do is offer choice, believing that if students can do what they want to do, there's more chance of them succeeding. So it's possible for students to choose strange combinations and mixtures of languages and science or languages and sociology and science and art subjects. Um, last year I found that it was necessary to retake my A-levels and I found out that um, there was an intensive A-level course at Merton College which involved um, studying for your A-levels in one year and I'm now doing English, Biology and Maths A-levels.
This was a good thing about Merton College, that I was allowed to take this combination of A-levels because doing um, one art and two sciences meant that I didn't have to specialise until I went on to higher education. Yeah, I'm doing two-year A-level science course. Um, I came from a normal comprehensive school to college, you know, because I fancied the change. And also I can mix with people of more of my age group. And um, the courses I chose, you know, suited me very well. And the standard of teaching really is good. I didn't realise that there would be so much interest, you know, in my own progress. We offer things like computer studies, and we also offer art to help people get into art school and make art a career. We're one of the few colleges in Greater London to offer film studies at advanced level, and people travel for considerable distances to come and study film at Merton College. We offer a range of courses for adults as well as young people. The return to study, an access course that helps them get directly into polytechnic. So we try to advise them about the range of options open to them. The access is a marvellous new type of course. One year's study with us and then direct entry to the polytechnic. And it means for the first time adults who don't have formal qualifications have a chance to do a degree without going through three or four years of studying, doing a load of ordinary levels and then a load of advanced levels with all the strain that that imposes when they're trying to run a household and bring up a family. We also offer courses such as the nursery nursing course. There's mature students on that. There's boys as well as girls, but mostly it attracts young ladies who are desperate to work as nannies. And the NNEB is the internationally recognised qualification for nannies and for people who want to work in maternity units and day nurseries. Another course of interest is the New Path. And New Path is for students who mostly have never taken an exam in their lives and have major problems learning. And on that course, with workshops and with work experience, some of them achieve the first success they ever have achieved in their lives. I hope that you are interested enough to follow this up with an inquiry, either in person with one of the members of staff present, or by writing to Merton College, London Road, Morden.